The beauty of Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa received the beauty of military golf team in the presence of the Minister of Defense Affairs, Lieutenant General Abdullah bin Hassan Al Naimi, on the occasion of the team's achievement in the 15th edition of the World Military Golf Championship in Zimbabwe with the participation of 14 countries. The beauty of Commander-in-Chief honored the team with the Medal of Distinction for achieving first and second place in the senior category and third place at the team level. He affirmed that this achievement is thanks to the royal support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, praising the performance level showed by the team players and hailed their honorable achievements. Following the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to increase support for the employment of Bahraini doctors, the Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Isa bin Salman Educational Charitable Trust, Chairman of the Board of Directors of Tamkeen, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, announced the launch of the largest support bundle for the healthcare sector. The bundle, which aims to support over 700 Bahraini doctors and nurses, includes five main initiatives covering the cost of obtaining board certification for Bahraini doctors, while supporting the wages of doctors working in the private sector during their training and supporting international fellowship programs for Bahrainis wishing to obtain specializations. The bundle also includes support for graduating Bahraini nurses with bachelor's degrees, in addition to supporting them to obtain various required specializations. His Highness stressed the importance of investing in national talent working in the healthcare sector in Bahrain and creating quality opportunities for them through continuous training and development and adopting and implementing plans and initiatives that contribute to sustainability of the health sector and improving its services as one of the most important sectors that receives constant attention from His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness. His Highness met with the Chairman of the Supreme Council for Health, Lieutenant General Sheikh Dr. Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, in the presence of the Minister of Health, Dr. Jalil Hassan, the Minister of Cabinet Affairs, Hamad bin Faisal Al Malki, and the Chief Executive of Timkeen, Maha Mufiz, and several officials to discuss collaborative efforts between Timkeen and the SCH. This included launching the largest support bundle of initiatives to support the development of Bahraini talent working in the healthcare sector and si signing an agreement between Timkeen and the Council with the purpose of introducing these initiatives. Sheikh Dr. Mohammed bin Abdullah praised Timkeen for its role in enriching the healthcare sector in Bahrain, whether through initiatives aimed at developing the healthcare workforce or through initiatives that support the sector's enterprises to grow and expand. He highlighted how Tim Keen's efforts align with the Council's ongoing efforts and strategic initiatives to develop the healthcare sector across all fields, with a focus on enhancing services and ensuring the sustainability of resources. The Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Isa bin Salman Educational Charitable Trust and Chairman of the Board of Directors of Tamkeen, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, chaired the meeting of the Board of Directors of Tamkeen for the second quarter of 2024. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman expressed pride in the efforts of national competencies, affirming that they are the real and sustainable investment that would contribute in the Kingdom's development. His Highness praised the continuous support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness emphasized the importance to continue adopting and implementing initiatives and strategies that provide more qualitative opportunities as well as strengthen the partnership with the private sector. The Chief Executive of Timkeen Maha Mufiz presented Timkeen's prominent achievements according to the main performance indicators for 2024, which reflects Timkeen's commitment to supporting Bahraini talent and the private sector. Timkeen supported the employment of over 8,800 Bahrainis and the career development of more than 12,000 Bahrainis. Additionally, Timkeen provided support to over 5,000 enterprises with small and medium-sized businesses accounting for 57% of the total enterprises receiving assistance. The presentation highlighted several institutions that leveraged Timkeen's support to achieve their development objectives. This included employing Bahraini talent, supporting their promotion and career advancement, as well as investing in innovating, innovative solutions to boost productivity and business growth. The meeting discussed cooperation between Timkeen and the Supreme Council of Health and announced the launch of a support bundle targeting over 700 Bahraini doctors and nurses in the healthcare sector through five different initiatives. 
The meeting also reviewed the most prominent plans that will be worked on to enhance the integration of Bahrainis into the labor market, support career development and productivity of Bahrainis in the private sector, and contribute to sustainable economic growth. Under the patronage of the chairman of the Shura Council, Ali Saleh, the Bahrain Technology Company Society organized the Bahrain Digital Content Awards BDC ceremony at the Gulf Convention Center. The ceremony was attended by a wide range of leaders and innovators from various sectors as 28 national digital projects were honored within the eight award categories. The award aims to highlight the extent of development achieved by Bahrain in developing digital content, advancing information and communications technology, supporting global trends towards digitization, and the competitiveness of all sectors in developing innovative and sustainable solutions to support digital transformation, activating creativity and developing e-content that meets government and private institution levels. Within the framework of the official visit to the United States, the Minister of Industry and Commerce, Abdullah Fakhro, participated in the roundtable of the National Council on U.S.-Arab Relations to discuss economic developments and future investment opportunities between the two sides. The minister stressed the government's keenness to strengthen and consolidate bilateral relations by increasing investment opportunities and seizing new and diversified economic projects for both sides and achieving the positive expected results of the free trade agreement between the two countries. They also reviewed the latest developments and efforts made by Bahrain to enhance trade cooperation with the U.S. and create more rapprochement between the Bahraini business community and the American business community to achieve common goals. As part of his official visit to the U.S., the Minister of Industry and Commerce, Abdullah Fakhro, participated in the roundtable discussions hosted by the American Chamber of Commerce. The discussions aim to enhance cooperation in the fields of trade, investment and industry and highlight the promising investment opportunities between the two countries. On the sidelines of the roundtable, the chairman of the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Samir Nas, in the presence of the Minister of Industry and Commerce, Abdullah Fakhro, met with a number of industry and commerce officials in the U.S. government, along with a number of American businessmen and investors to discuss ways to develop the pace of economic, commercial and investment relations between Bahrain and the U.S. and mechanisms for developing and strengthening them at all levels. Nas reviewed Bahrain's investment opportunities and advantages, the services provided by the chamber to business community and investors, the role and the role assigned to it in maintaining sustainability and growth. He noted that the initiatives and strategies launched by the Chamber in parallel with the plans and programs of the government support the achievement of sustainable economic growth and create a competitive business environment that attracts foreign investments, making the Kingdom one of the preferred global destinations among business communities. The Institute of Public Administration launched the second batch of the program to prepare Bahraini cadres for foreign participation. On the occasion, the Director General of the Institute, Sheikha Dr. Rana bint Isa Al Khalifa, affirmed that investing in Bahraini cadres is a national priority and an essential basis for achieving national aspirations in line with the visions of His Majesty the King and with the follow up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. More on this report. In continuation of launching initiatives aimed at qualifying and preparing Bahraini youth and refining their skills, the Institute of Public Administration launched the second batch of the program to prepare Bahraini cadres for external participations to emphasize the development of youth capabilities in a way that is appropriate for future jobs. The Director General of the Institute of Public Administration, Sheikha Dr. Rana bint Isa Al Khalifa, held a meeting with the program participants in the presence of the British Ambassador to Bahrain, Alastair Long, during which she affirmed that the Institute, in cooperation with the British Embassy, will enable participants to acquire the necessary skills to accelerate their professional development and enhance their competitiveness locally and internationally. It's been wonderful to come here to the Institute of Public Administration today to see two young girls who are going to the UK for a year uh, to do internships with McLaren, that fabulous company uh, sponsored by the Institute of Public Administration and Tam Keen. What an opportunity for those two young women. It's going to be fabulous. 
The program aims to consolidate the approach of innovation and creativity in addition to providing participants with the skills to deal with various personalities and official tasks in accordance with the protocol and the nature of international relations between Bahrain and brotherly and friendly countries. The program mainly seeks to qualify and prepare participants through a set of aspects that will strengthen national values and the Bahraini identity before the international community and advancing them to achieve the desired goals and aspirations. The Royal Fund for Fallen Servicemen organized a ceremony to celebrate the fund's contributors and supporters at the Isa Cultural Center. The director of the fund, Sheikh Khalid bin Salman bin Khalid Al Khalifa, emphasized the significant role of individuals and companies that support the fund. He added that this support is based on their belief in community partnership, which contributes to achieving the noble goals of the fund. Sheikh Khalid bin Salman affirmed that this align w aligns with the visions of His Majesty the King and the directors of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister the President of the Supreme Commission for the Royal Fund for Fallen Servicemen. The Director expressed his appreciation for the support, which serves as a foundation to continue providing the best care for the families of the fallen servicemen and their children. He thanked all contributors, supporters and volunteers for their efforts in supporting the fund, wishing them continued success. During the event, the contributors were honored for their efforts and keenness to support the fund. The Bahrain Institute for Political Development organized a social crisis management workshop which within the Municipal Skills 2024 program, which the Institute presents in partnership with the Ministry of Municipalities, Affairs and Agriculture to members of the Capital Municipality Council and Municipal Councils. The workshop aimed to introduce the global situation of crisis and disaster risks and to link national security and resilience and defining the best international practices in the crisis and disaster management system, realizing the importance of strategic risk assessment and building national security. The Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority announced ticket sales for the Bahrain Summer Toy Festival through Platinum List website. The festival will begin on July 1st, promising a blend of entertainment and interactive activities tailored to diverse interests. Hi highlights include Presentations by 25 renowned international brands featuring children's characters, complemented by international theatrical performances crafted to captivate audiences all of all ages. Throughout its various sections, the festival pro promises a family entertainment experience, offering a unique opportunity for families and children to enjoy summer festivities in Bahrain. The National Space Science Agency announced that the Bahraini space engineer Aisha Al Haram won the largest international award designated for the youth in the space sector, Young Space Leaders, organized by the International Astronautical Federation, making it the first Bahraini and Arab country uh, Arab victory in the competition's 12-year history. The award is presented to young leaders in the space sector who have demonstrated excellence at the global level and left a clear mark in the development of space science. The award witnesses the participation of around 9,600 people from 84 countries and 513 international space institutions and agencies. The Kingdom of Bahrain marks the International Day Against Drug Abuse and Illicit Trafficking, which falls on the 26th of June every year, which coincides with the launch of Bahrain's National Anti-Drugs and Psychotropic Substances Plan. More on this report. Marking the International Day Against Drug Abuse and Illicit Trafficking, the Kingdom of Bahrain made numerous achievements in this regard, thanks to the directives of His Majesty the King and the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. Based on the fact that combating drugs is a societal responsibility, the Minister of Interior and Chairman of the National Committee to Combat Drugs, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah al-Khalifa, launched on June 25, 2015, Bahrain's National Anti-Drugs and Psychotropic Substances Plan in its first edition, followed by the second edition in 2022, which extended to the year 2027, as national efforts in the field of drug control are characterized by their integrated nature in accordance with a constructive community partnership. The Anti-Narcotics Department fighting drugs 24 hours a day. They have opened a hotline 96 to receive reports while maintaining the IDs for the callers. They are preparing lectures for social clubs schools to raise the awareness about drugs problem. 
In addition to the security role, there are multiple roles for health, educational, and media institutions, which bear multiple duties in the field of immunizing young people and dealing professionally with the social, health, and economic risks posed by drugs through holding awareness programs in order to serve and preserve the society. Our unit is not only a medical treatment, it, we are also uh, having a collaborative um, uh, cooperation between uh, other entity like uh, uh, Ministry of Interior, Ministry of Work, and we are trying to make a, a full recovery, functional recovery of our patient, not only in the medical in the medical field, but also for occupational, uh, educational, and social uh, recovery, which is our aim uh, in the future, inshallah. Social responsibility remains the best way to combat drugs to achieve the desired goals amid assurances that the cohesive society of the kingdom is capable of facing all challenges.